Hi guys, before this video starts, I just want to apologise because I'm so disappointed in myself. The amount of times I've said like, it is so annoying. I didn't know that I said like that many times until I watched my video. So, excuse that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I just wanted to do a quick one on what's in my bag. Your girl ain't got a Birkin, but you already thought I had a Birkin. Psych, nigga. I can't afford it. I can't afford it, but I just wanted to be funny. But I do have this bag. Um, I got this bag from like a pound store, Poundland. In London, we have like these stores called Poundland. And like everything is literally a pound in there. So I got... I got this ho ho ho, but your girl ain't a ho ho ho, okay? But I did get it during Christmas time. I actually really like these type of bags because they're just easy to like fling on. Like just design a bag, it's just like, oh, like where are you going boo? Where is you going? So, I want to show you guys what I have in my bag. So first off, I have a mask. Obviously, everyone nowadays has to wear a mask for the whole year. We've literally been wearing masks, which is so annoying. Especially like when I wear makeup, I cannot wear a mask. It is so annoying. So, um, I always have to have a mask in my bag. This is a mask. If I don't bring a mask with me, I ain't going nowhere because they won't allow me on the bus or in the restaurant or in the shops because that's just how it is nowadays um the next thing in my bag is obviously a brush i have to carry a brush with me everywhere um because during the day like your hair tends to get tangled so obviously you want to look so cute you don't want to be out and about with like naughty looking hair you want your hair to be laying nice and flat nice and cute you know what i'm saying um, so the next thing in my bag is this it's called easy melt shea butter I don't know if it will focus maybe if I'm out the way here yeah. so I use this as a hand moisturizer I use this all the time this is like the only hand moisturizer I use it's like this type of texture um, very oily I must say I use it on my face this is why your girl don't have that much spots because your girl takes good care of her skin like I use this shea butter literally everywhere on my face and my hands my body and um, my ankles if they end up getting dry during the day that's what I use it for so I've had this for so long like almost a year and I need to go on top up but this should last me like about two more weeks and then i'm gonna go get another one and it's cheap it was one pound so it's a bargain um the next item that i have in my bag are these lip glosses i must have lip glosses in my bag if not lip gloss if it's a makeup day then it's lip gloss if it's not a makeup day then it's lip balm um but i keep the kiko lip gloss mm. I want to be focused yeah so i keep the kiko lip gloss in the shade i think it's zero one i believe it's zero one it's a clear i have it on now it's a clear glittery um kind of pinky looking type shade and also i have this lip gloss for my friend um zaria she actually gave it to me um she's starting her own business soon and she wanted me to test it out i have it also on my lips so i made like a little combo i don't know if you can tell but this is a little combo that i made using these two oh yeah i got another lip gloss so i have this lip gloss as well and it's 
called yeah i'm uh, sorry it's from Revlon. revolution like five pounds pretty cheap um i got it in the shade kiss it's like a pinky color um i always like nudely like i either like clear or pinkish looking colors or like nudie type colors that's the only lip glosses that i rock with all them color lip glosses i don't bug with you so the next item i got in my bag is a hand sanitizer because obviously you need hand sanitizer in your hands like when you're going on a bus you're touching the poles you're going shopping you're literally touching what other people have touched um restaurants and stuff like that so you've got to keep hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Um, just to make sure you know your hands are clean, like you know what I'm saying. I'm even using it now. Although the smell is not good, not really the best smell, but you want to stay safe than sorry. So, another item I got in my bag is this water bottle. Obviously, it's empty now because I'm not going anywhere. But I usually keep this water bottle in my bag. Um, it's like a little kind of cheap water bottle. It's kind of dirty. I know. But I always keep this with filled up with water. Um, I feel like you need to be drinking water. Especially if you have work like the whole day. Eight hour shift. Like you need to be drinking water throughout the day. Because it's good for your body. Yeah, and it's good for your skin as well. Your skin will thank you for drinking water. Like literally. And the next item I got in my bag is this hat because the weather in London right now is so shit. The weather is not the best. It's always raining, so I always make sure like I have this hat. This is actually really cute. Um, I actually fold it, but yeah, I always make sure I keep this hat with me so that. If my hair is looking nasty from like the bad weather then at least I have a hat to cover it so I always keep a hat and a scarf in my bag but I don't have a scarf in my bag right now because I always tend to get cold like when I'm out. Um, the next item in my bag is this eyelash case. The only reason I keep an eyelash case is because let's say like you're out with your boo thing and like you're crying or like you got into an argument with your friend and you're crying like your eyelashes are going to come off obviously and you want to put your eyelashes in a container because you don't want to put it in your pocket because they will end up ruining basically like they will go flat and then it will be a waste of eyelashes so i just pop it back in its original case and it's a wrap for the day um, the next item I got in my bag is this oyster card. Um, obviously, like, I need this to travel. I don't have a car. But I use this oyster card to travel around London because it's the card you need. We you use your bank card. But I like to separate. Um, so when I get paid like for my job, I like to separate my travel money with the rest of my money so I know, okay, I set this money into the card for the rest of the month so that I'm not worrying at the end of the month how much money um, I have left. Um, the next item I've got in my bag is my purse. I really shouldn't have this purse because it says treat yourself. Um, I'm really bad when it comes with money because I always end up treating myself when I shouldn't. And I go way over budget, like way over budget and it's really, really bad um i've just got my bank card in here my groceries cards my credit card my other bank card my colleague discount card my driver's license um and another always start this is literally where i keep all my cards um the next item i got in my bag is this gum you're gonna need gum especially when you're meeting up with your boy maybe after work you know you want your breath to smell nice especially if you're in the car or something or like if you're meeting up with your boo you know or someone that you like obviously you're gonna be kissing and stuff so you just want to make sure that your breath is smelling nice and fresh if not gum then a mint spray is fine or just like a mint 
um you, it doesn't have to be chewing gum but i always keep this in my bag obviously this is a new packet but i finished my old one like when i'm on my way to work i will chew a quick gum um, not that not that i'm going to kiss anyone at work but you know i like to make sure that my breath smells nice um, so the next item I got on my keys and um, these are my babies to get into the house and if I don't have these my parents always complain it was like oh why don't you have your key and stuff like that my mom hates opening in the door for me when I forget my keys so I need to make sure that I have these keys if not if my if I'm lucky enough if my sister's in and I don't have my key then I'm lucky but if she's not in then my mom ain't opening the door for shit the next item I got in my bag are these two items. Um, I only have these in my bag for makeup purposes, only on days when I'm wearing makeup. When I'm not wearing makeup, these are never in my bag. Um, I only keep this in my bag, like you know when you're getting oily, you just want to give a little pat, 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 just to eliminate the oiliness and you're good, like just a simple brush. and two face powder in the shade cocoa and that's it really um i usually keep this in a tissue or in a bag only because i don't want the makeup to go in the inside lining of the bag i hate i just hate it when makeup gets all into the bag and um, the next item i got is this clip um i use this like if i don't want my hair to be in the way then i clip it back this clip is useful for you know at work i'm always referencing to work because i'm always at work but like if you want to tie your hair back or you're sweaty around your neck and you don't want no hair on your neck you just tie your hair back and stuff like that so this is why i have my clip and that's oh one last thing and then the last thing i have in this birkin bay <laughs> is this scrunchy um same as the clip like on a long day like if i want to tie my hair or just at home like i just tie it back you know low ponytail and shit like that so yeah this is the scrunchy i keep to tie or sometimes i just keep it on my wrist like this it's not a big deal but yeah so that's all the items i have in my birkin bag um um you can get this birkin bag literally in the pound store <laughs> no i'm joking um so that's all that's in my bag if you guys like this video then make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Wow.